Welcome to Average Review and in today's video I want to show you how to complete the setup with the Osmo Mobile 3 to phone such which is my iPhone Pro Max right now currently I'm using my S8 Plus to record this video so see if there's any difference with the video right now in comparison to the last one as the last one was done using my iPhone Pro Max so just a comparison so far anyway um, so roughly we have done the unboxing of the Osmo Mobile 3 um, we have to turn it on you just press a long time for this like so and um, just to remind you to put it back into a shape you just fold it downwards like that so roughly speaking you have to make sure that this is coming down and you're coming down like this and this is how you close it it locks and then you lift it back up anyway that's this is my first time connecting it so it's turned on there is some battery remember this does last for 15 hours so you're able to use this for 15 hours um, I'm just going to show you how to connect it to your phone so first of all you need to download the DJI Mimo app which is here it sees the OM3 which is the Osmo Mobile 3 I'll click connect Um, it does ask for a Bluetooth pairing request. Would you like to pair with your phone? Obviously, you have to pair and you have to agree as well. Ensure the Bluetooth is properly connected. Obtain Osmo info. So you have to click this checkbox that enables the next button to be pressed. Please activate after login. So here is the Osmo Pocket and Osmo Action, which both I owned previously. I now have the Osmo, Cam uh, Osmo Mobile 3, which is my first ever gimbal. I'm actually interested in testing out the Mavic Mini 2. Sadly, it's not available in Hong Kong yet. I do have a login name. Mm, let me give me a minute while I log in details. I might have forgotten about it. Okay, I do remember my login names, thank God. Generally, you forget these things, especially since it was a long time that I've done it. It does say here right now, activate. Let me see if I can get a clear focus of this. There we go, activate. So you can click activate next. Keep the app open and do not leave the current page during activation. At the moment, it's doing the confirming activation info with server. Okay, so that's done. It says notice for beginners. Let's click on it because I am a beginner. Hold tilt monitor and move phone left or right until phone remains balanced when released. So roughly that is what it should look like when you actually put it in next hold tilt motor and move phone holder left or right until phone remains balanced when released so it needs to be balanced use joystick to pan or tilt phone Press the red button here, take photo or start or stop recording, which is the one here. Um, you press the M button once, which is the power function button. Switch between photo or video mode when powered on. Check battery level when powered off. Press twice, switch between landscape and portrait mode, which means which this will tilt press three times to enter sleep mode press and hold for power on off so that's what this button does here we have the zoom slider button which zooms in and zoom out once you've got the eMemo app working we have the trigger button at the very back here 
Press and hold into lock mode and release to exit lock mode. Press once to start or stop active track when enabled in MIMO. So we need to enable in MIMO first to do the active track. And you double press it to recenter the gimbal for the back here. Press three times switch this between front and back cameras. And press once and then press and hold to enter spot mode. And then you release to exit. And charge Osmo Mobile 3 through the charging port, which is this one here. So this is the charging port. And it doesn't mention what it does this one here. Hmm, I'll figure it out, don't worry, that's it done. Would you like to access the camera? Of course. Phone and balance, adjust phone. Okay, let me just try to get this sorted. Phone camera direction. Definitely not right. You can see it's like that. <laughs> Let me figure it out. At the moment. Oh, wait. Oh, you can, oh. Wait, something's happening. You can see it when I actually put the phone in, I think it's slightly balanced or maybe nearing balanced. If I do a double press, you can see how the phone rotates. So a double press. Let's see how it is. At the moment, One of the trick is that this is how you were to do some filming. It needs to be that way. So whatever you do a, a low floor one, your gimbal needs to be sideways so that you are able to get some nice shots. Let me just play around with it. Uh, yes, you can see here that I, it is rotating. Oh, yes. So roughly speaking, at the moment, I don't think I have a perfect. Now it is facing forward. And I, as I said, there we go. We have... Let me just see if I can record it. I prefer in this mode. So I'm going to start some recording. Slide to select shooting mode, include panel and tight labs. Okay. Oh, right. Seems like it still wants to talk a little bit more. It talks about video mode. It now talks about Common shooting settings are here. Let me just get this in view. So right now, it's got to here, the left side. Switch between front and rear cameras on the top. Uh, quick access for story mode. We have to display the device battery level here. That's quite useful. Another info. Access additional settings including gimbal shooting and general settings options. Glamour effects off, grid off, press M button, will switch photos. And roughly that's done. And obviously here it explains the fact that you're able to zoom in on an object as to follow it. So as mentioned, uh, you can follow, a, a, it will actually follow a person. Uh, so useful if you have kids, which I do. Uh, at the moment, it does say phone and balance. I just phone until we center of gravity.
And after having done that, it's actually recording. So, at the moment it looks fine. Let me try zooming in and zooming out. Uh, I think there is one problem with the iPhone Pro Max, so I think where the third camera isn't used yet. Hopefully there will be some software updates. It does zoom in easily. Let's see what that back button does. So at the moment, I need to sort out the balance. Well, roughly, this is what it's like setting it up with the iPhone Pro Max. Obviously, this is the Mimo app. It's roughly should be the same for every device. And that's how roughly you pair it up. Anyway, again, hopefully you found this video really useful. And do hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.